Hey everyone, thank you once again for joining me today. I'm your teacher Vanessa, or my teacher Vanessa, and today I want to continue talking a little bit more about informal language. So we have formal language and informal language. So just to review, informal language is language that you use with your friends, your family, even people you're meeting at a restaurant for the first time. Formal language is language you would use with the queen, you would use it with the president, you will use this with your boss and maybe someone older than you that you're meeting for the first time. So what I want to do is I want to help you expand your vocabulary for answering the question, how are you? So again, many people when they learn the English language, they learn it like a formula. In one ear, out the other. And you usually have a pre-made response for these questions. But I want you to be a star English speaker. I want you to sound like a native English speaker. Maybe even like someone from Canada, like me. So I'm going to teach you informal responses to the question, how are you? So instead of just saying, I'm fine, how are you? I want to teach you answers going from super excellent all the way, maybe if you're having not such a good day, I want to help you to explain yourself, to explain your feelings, how your day is going without just saying, I'm bad because we don't really say that in English. We don't say, I'm bad. We could say, I'm good, I'm fantastic, I'm excellent. We do say that, but we don't say, I'm bad. Okay, so let's start off with having a very good day. Someone says, how are you? You are feeling fantastic. So you could say, I'm great. Or you could even say, I couldn't be better. I couldn't be better. And this is what you say if you're having the perfect day, everything is going right. So you could say, I'm fantastic, I'm excellent, I'm doing super. These are all words or things that you could say if you're having an excellent day. Now, if you're still having a good day, but you're not, wow, your mind isn't blown, you're not having the best day of your life, it's not your birthday or Christmas or anything. So you could say, I'm good, I'm doing well, I'm doing okay. So these are all different answers that you could say instead of, I'm fine. So you could say, things are pretty good. You could say, can't complain. So can't complain means, yeah, my day's average. It's so-so, it's not amazing, but it's also not bad. So you can say, can't complain. I went to work, I had my lunch. I'm having a pretty good day. Okay, now what you could also say is, I'm hanging in there. So maybe you had one or two bad things that happened. Maybe you forgot your coffee before work. Many Canadians like to drink coffee before work. Um, so maybe you forgot your coffee or you dropped pencils all over the floor. So you could say, things could be better. Or you could say, I'm all right, or I'm just hanging in there. So my day could get a lot better. Okay, so now you're having a little bit more of a worse day. So you woke up and everything seems to be going wrong. So you could say, I've been better. I've been better. And it's okay if you say that. Someone might ask you, oh, what happened? Or they might not ask, I've been better. They could say, yeah, just having one of those days. If someone says, I'm having one of those days, people usually know that you're not having that good of a day. One of those days. And you could say, I've been better. And finally, if you're having a really bad day, if someone says, how are you? You could just say, tell them. I'm terrible. It's not been a very good day, but I'm hopeful that tomorrow would be better. Remember, this is an informal, casual situation, so usually if you're telling someone that you're feeling terrible, they're already your friend, they already know a little bit about you, and they actually want to know how you're feeling. So what I find here, especially in Canada, many people also answer positively to how are you. Everyone always says, I'm great, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? But what I find is if I actually tell someone how I'm feeling, like, oh, it could be better, or I'm having one of those days, people tend to open up a little bit more to me. And they actually are interested in how I'm feeling. So I want to challenge you, the next time someone asks you how you are, I want you to answer not with, I'm fine. I want you to answer with something a little bit more descriptive. I want you to be true to how you're actually feeling. And remember, it can go from feeling great, excellent, I couldn't be better, to terrible, not so good, or I've had better days. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun. 
I'm your teacher Vanessa, or you can find me, my teacher Vanessa, on Instagram, and you can like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. If there's anything else you want to learn about, if you have any requests, please comment them below and I'll be sure to address them. Thank you so much and I'll see you all soon.